What's up guys, it's Connor, back with another video, and today, I got another one. That's right, yet another mod that we're going to be doing. My last video, I felt like wasn't put so well together, I just kind of threw my camera up there, it was kind of boring, so this time I think I'm going to change it up a little bit, maybe do some point of view with my GoPro and have this set up on another tripod. Just so I can change up the angles a bit, because I know last time it was just like really boring probably for you guys. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I guess without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. That's what I'm talking about right there. about 
uh, I think a hundred and ninety dollars with free shipping off of ECS tuning, which honestly is better than the price for a like full like hatback exhaust, which would be like six hundred like fifty dollars from like APR or something like that, or no AWE um, tuning, and that was like the other exhaust that I. I would want, but then again, also, like what I was saying earlier, you can't just flip a switch and make it quieter, so that's what I like about this. So I'm only really going to use it on back roads or when I want it to be loud, and uh, just a simple, easy solution for that. So yeah, without further ado, let's uh, start installing this bad boy. I think I've been getting too many packages lately. What's up guys, it's the next morning. Uh, time to go put on that exhaust. As you might be able to tell, the uh, air intake rattles a little bit because the heat shield hits the uh, amount. Here, I'll show you guys. Yeah, so basically, this heat shield is hitting that mount there, and you can kind of see that it's rubbing. And so it is like making a bunch of rattling noises, so I'm going to have to either cut that or fix, I don't know. But that's not for today. That First I'm going to clean this garage up a little bit because uh, this is where I'm going to be working. So yeah, let's get started on that. Alright, finished cleaning the garage. It's a bit better now. I think I could probably fit a car in here, but we'll see. Only time will tell. Climb through the other side. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, I probably get a little closer here, but this is far enough up into the garage. Yeah, I couldn't get out that side. <laughs> oh, dang. Ugh, this is gonna be fun. All right, so now I gotta take out the uh, jack here and move some of this stuff, the oil stuff, and uh, just open that and. Uh, Obviously, I'm gonna have to wait for my car to cool down before I get underneath it, but yeah, this will this will be an adventure. All right, put it in there. So now I just gotta. This is a mess, honestly. Like, look at how close everything is. Oh. So hot right now. This needs to be thrown away. Dang it. There we go. And this car needs a freaking wash. Oh, that was not a good idea. Alright, I don't know where I'm going to set this up. I'll just put that up here for now. There we go. All right, now let's see if I can jack this up. I don't know how good this jack is. My dad just bought it at O'Reilly's. So I have no clue if this is a good jack or not. Should go 
right here. There we go. It's actually doing something. Right, I hope that's an okay spot right there. I'm not too sure about this. Okay, first. I assumed that was metal, but I probably shouldn't have. Yeah, that's not even metal. Okay, I probably shouldn't put it there then. I don't know where to put it. I don't have, as you could also tell, I don't have wheel chocks, so these aren't going to work at all. Um, I was going to see if they would improvise, but when I was trying to jack it up, the um, car was just making a bunch of creaking noises and was rolling a bit, and I just couldn't trust it at all. So... I think I'm just going to call this a fail, and I'm going to come back another time and do it. Um, but it's just like way too small. So I'm, I'm just too uncomfortable. I'm not comfortable enough doing it. Um, I'm not trusting it at all. And I just feel uncomfortable because I get a little claustrophobic. I, I might get some chalks maybe tomorrow morning and try and at least put it on and then maybe do the wiring another time. Um, but uh, I, I will be going to South Carolina and uh, so it might have to wait until then, until I get back from there. Which in that case means um, I wouldn't be able to get to it for another week or so. And then I'd probably be doing it at our family friend's house, which is in Sacramento. Um, that's like worst case scenario. Um, I think I might be able, I might come back to it tomorrow. I think I'm just going to give it a wash because it really needs a wash. And, um, I guess I wrote that by the way. All right, change in plan actually. So I, uh, reached out to my coach, um, because I know he has, uh, car ramps that you can just drive your car up onto, um, opposed to jacking it up. And uh, he said he'd be able to get them to me when he gets back from work. So that would probably be around 5.30ish. And right now it is just about 3. So uh, I guess in the meantime, um, I'll clean my car because it is really dirty. Um, I got nothing else to do. So might as well do that. And then uh, I'll have a clean car to work on later tonight. So we might actually be able to get it done after all. How about that? <laughs> Alright guys, she's all clean, look at that. Just reflecting everything. Oh yeah, that's what she needed. She just needed a nice clean. Alright, this is on my GoPro. I don't know if you can see me. There we go. Um, so I, I did end up getting the ramps uh, for the car. And so that one's on the other side, this one's on this side. I, I'm, so yeah, I did end up getting it from my coach. Um, so now I'm just kind of putting jack stands underneath there just in case uh, they happen to slip out from underneath there. I, I don't think that would happen. Um, and then I just got some rocks that I put behind the car. Uh, just preliminary. I just don't want to get crushed by this. So um, that's why I had reserves about it earlier. But um, it's about... 
125. And uh, I'm just going to do some preliminary measurements, and then I'll probably finish tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning. And uh, yeah, so not a fail after all. It was really close, but um, got to push through those failures, and uh, yeah. Push that with something. I don't really want to go that much further underneath this car. Just kind of, even with all of this, is just kind of, you know, messing with my brain. Especially with this right there. I don't want to get too close to that. It's really, really hot. Just, it, it, it got warmed up the temperature while I was putting these on. And this side is, like, bowing out a bit. So I'm kind of... Ugh, I'm kind of iffy about that, so. Hey, would you look at that? That works out perfectly. Okay. Once I get these under the car, I'll feel safer. You know, the only thing that's shitty about my garage is that this surface is really uneven. And, uh, it has like a weird coating to it, so it makes things a little slippery. And it's uneven, so it's just... And it's claustrophobic as fuck. So, yeah, alright. Well, I'm gonna let the car cool down, and I'll come back in probably like 20 minutes or so. Alright, so, uh, what I did is I basically just taped it off with electrical tape and Sharpie, and, wrote, and did some Sharpie on it, um, because you have to cut about 10 inches of pipe off but then you need that another inch on each side so that uh, it can clamp down so um, on your on a stock Jetta exhaust there's just enough room between the uh, catalytic converter and the first resonator in the mid pipe in order for you to uh, put it right there um, the other options would be to cut off the resonator um, however the resonator is 11 inches long so that would be too big of a cut and then another option would be behind the resonator. Um, however, there's also a bend in the exhaust um, after the resonator. So I don't know how hard that would be to be able to put it in there. But there's definitely enough room uh, lengthwise in order to put it there. But um, I'm deciding to put it here because it is straight. Um, and there's just barely enough room to put it there. So um, that's where I'm going to put it. All right. So, uh, I'm going to attempt to start cutting. Um, don't know how this is going to go, but we'll find out. Alright, well, hopefully this will be an okay blade. I'm not sure. I haven't even used one of these before, so I don't even know how it... Alright, um, that's... <laughs> Powerful. Alright, I'm gonna get under the car then. Alright, so change in plan. Um, I decided to go to O'Reilly's and uh, do their free loaner program, and I just decided to get a tailpipe cutter um, just because I wasn't feel comfortable feeling comfortable using one of those, and I didn't know what blade to use. Never used one of those before, so I felt something that was more mechanical and would make it easier to cut through so and plus I don't have to worry about like a blade getting stuck or whatever so I think this is what I'm going to use said so make things go pretty smoothly so pretty much the goal for today is to cut the pipe and then put the new pipe in and clamp it down and then I'll do like the actual valve um, some other time like when I get back from South Carolina or something Gonna make sure this is the right size before I cut it. Alright guys, got an update. So, after I, uh, I've been cutting at it for about probably 30 minutes now. 
Um, so I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but it does go pretty much all the way through. Um, except for like the top, it's kind of like, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. It's like not cut at the top, I don't think. Um, but I'm not sure, 100% certain. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to take a break real quick because it took a long time to do that. And then, um, I'll cut the other side. And then, um, hopefully it'll just drop out. But, yeah, I, I'm not sure about this. It should have cut all the way through, but I can't really tell. So, if not, then we'll have to cut a little bit more. But, um, you can definitely tell it's cut all the way through here, so. Alright, I got the other one. Just And then I just... Alright. Got the other one already. Now, I just got this one. It took a while, but... What I figured out is that it's easier There we go. So what I figured out is that it's easier to um I tried to just cut it from one side but it didn't really work out very well so it took a while to like cut all of it but I decided that oh it's probably like not cut on one side so I went to the other side of the car and cut it and it just came off immediately so um, yeah, so if you guys are going to do this yourself, then I would definitely recommend, uh, switching sides, so once you feel like it's cut on one side, then go to the other side, so it's not as even as you think, uh, it would be when you're cutting it, but yeah, I just, just got that out, and that's actually pretty heavy right there, uh, I'm surprised how heavy that is, but, um, now I've got to do a start with a open, open cat back and see what it sounds like. It's not gonna rock the car off the thing, is it? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. I've never heard how loud it is. <laughs> Do it. Oh, he's gonna get my ear muffs. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> Go. to put this on here need the clamps then we'll be done with installing it at least hopefully this fits I thought that this might be a problem I mean, honestly, I don't really care what this looks like at the end of the day. I mean, in terms of, like, if it's, like, scratched or whatever, so. Alright, so, I, uh, ended up finishing it off. Um, what I learned is don't get the 60 millimeter cut out, um, because it's a little bit too small, so I had to take pliers and smash basically the pipe that I cut out into it with a hammer to make it like cone shaped so it would fit onto it and then we put the uh, brackets on it again and then just tighten them down really hard um, so hopefully it doesn't fall off or anything um, it was a little loose at first but once I tightened it down uh, it seemed to hold up just fine and uh, there was no exhaust leaks at least that I could tell anyway so um, Filming was just kind of getting in the way of doing it, so I just decided not to, but um, I think I can still probably show you guys the finished product. I think I'm just going to slide you guys underneath the car. So I don't know if you guys can see that at all there, but 
Uh, it's in the car, and um, yeah, so it may have been out of focus because I turned auto focus off, but um, yeah, it's in the car, so anyways, guys, uh, that will be the end of part one. Uh, part two, I will film at a later date because I will be gone. I'm actually leaving in maybe, I think, just about eight right now, and I'll probably be waking up in another five hours or so to leave for my flight. So, um, anyways, guys, uh, part two will be probably coming in another week or two. Um, right after I get back, we're going to go to the Delta. So, it'll be at least another week and a half before I can film, even film the second video. And that will be uh, putting the vacuum hose on, um, teeing it uh, with an existing vacuum hose, and wiring up the switch so that I can switch uh, it to loud mode. So right now it's at least on the car, and um, all I have to do is wire it. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.